Since I was a child, my world has been filled with anime, games, and the dream of creating my own worlds. I spent years practicing, trying to bring my own characters to life. But my perfectionism kept me stuck on the very first step. My interests were endless. I jumped from art to computers, to computer science, and finally to business. I was searching for a path, believing that success or money would give me the freedom to finally do what I loved. But I was young, and without enough experience, I failed many times. The pressure I put on myself eventually led me to a breaking point, and I even ended up in the hospital. But even at my lowest, I was lucky. I still had my family to support me. This moment became my new foundation. It was the start of a journey. From zero. With the help of mindfulness, my understanding of life changed. I realized my goal wasn't to be rich, but to live a simple, peaceful, and realistic life. I taught myself to code again when the NFT boom happened, not for the hype, but just for the joy of building. It didn't succeed again, as I couldn't do everything on my own. And then, the real AI revolution happened. Suddenly, all the different skills I had dabbled in for years, art, coding, music, storytelling, could be brought together. The tools to build my dream projects were finally here. I got into the creator field, and that's how I arrived here today. I'm still what you might call a middle-level creator. But with so many of you watching, I feel it's time to continue what I tried to do in the past, to inspire people. This video is my guide to help you use technology to improve your life, to create your own tools and entertainment, and to survive and thrive in this fast-changing world. Welcome. In the next 20 minutes, we are going on a journey. I've structured this video like a roadmap, so you'll always know where we are and where we're going. First, we'll learn how to cut through the noise of the AI hype machine, including the truth about free local AI versus paid cloud services. Next, I'll take you inside my own real-world workflow, showing you how I use AI as a partner in building complex projects. Then, we'll zoom out for the big picture and talk about our human role in a world filled with this new intelligence. And finally, we'll arrive at our destination, a complete, practical roadmap of the exact tools and skills you need to learn to start your own journey today. So let's begin. As a content creator, I have a front row seat to the modern attention economy. Most of the content you consume is engineered to manipulate your emotions. It's a battle for your time. Nowhere is this more obvious than in the AI space. You see the constant churn. Forget ChatGPT. This new AI is 100 times better. This is almost always a half-truth. The word best is a marketing gimmick. The reality is specialization. This brings us to one of the biggest points of confusion, local AI versus cloud services. My own journey started with a stubborn obsession with free local AI. I thought if I just had a good gaming PC, I could do everything myself. The reality? It could take an hour on my $2,000 computer with a 4070 tie just to create a single 5 to 10 second video at 720p. And most of the time, the result was completely unusable. I realized I wasn't just paying with electricity, I was paying with my time, and with the lost opportunity of being unable to use my PC for anything else while it was rendering. On the other hand, you have cloud GPU services like RunPod. You can rent an incredibly powerful GPU, something with 48 gigabytes of VRAM for less than a dollar an hour. So, if you're thinking of buying a new GPU just for AI and you have no experience, I strongly recommend you try cloud GPUs first. There's no sunk cost. Cloud GPUs do have a downside. The setup time isn't always fun, and you feel pressure because every second is money. 
but that pressure can force you to have a clear plan and to work systematically. So to summarize this section, be skeptical, question the hype, and always ask, what's the catch, including the true cost of free? Now that our compass is calibrated, let's see how these tools are actually used. So what does using AI to build something real actually look like? You'll hear claims like, I cloned Spotify in 10 minutes. They've cloned the front end, the visual layout. They haven't built the back end, the complex engine that makes it all work. Building that engine is where the real partnership with AI begins. Now, I'm going to take you inside my personal workflow. This is my primary workshop, Visual Studio Code. For anyone with no coding background, think of this like a super-powered text document. On the left, your files. In the middle, you write your instructions, the code. And at the bottom, this is the terminal, or command line, where you give direct commands to your computer. My workflow is a conversation. At its simplest, AI acts as a co-pilot. I start typing, and it suggests the next lines of code. But the real power comes with agent mode, which promises to do everything for you. However, if you have no clue how your product works, it's like being a company owner who can't direct their own workers. But if you learn at least the basics of programming, you can direct the agent effectively. You become the true director. And when you do hit a wall, you don't spend hours on forums. You paste an error message into the AI and ask, what's wrong with this? Explain the underlying principle. In my experience, 70% of development isn't the fun logic part. It's the soul-crushing grind of setup and debugging. AI helps crush that grind so we can focus on the features we want. This is what made it possible for me to even attempt mobile app development, like my AI screen translator that lets a user select text and have a conversation to understand context. AI doesn't replace you. It empowers you. Now, let's talk about video, because this is where the hype is currently the loudest. Yes, AI video is much cheaper than traditional filming. But in my experience, it is very difficult to get the exact output you want. AI is incredible at creating a flashy, cool, good-looking, and cinematic vibe. But what if you need more than a vibe? What if you need a specific story, with specific emotions? This is where you hit the wall. The subtle details, like a specific facial expression, or a precise piece of body language are still very hard for the AI to get right. Even a real-life human actor has to do multiple takes to get a scene perfect. With the current AI, it's the same, but worse. You might do 10 or even 100 takes, and you still might not get the exact emotion you need due to the limitations of the model. Now you might be thinking, what about motion capture? And you're right. There are advanced AI models that can take a video of a real actor as a reference and then switch their entire body with a new AI-generated model. It's similar to how a person in a green motion capture suit works in a Hollywood film. This gives you incredible control over the body language. But here's the current limitation. Even these models struggle to imitate the facial expressions exactly. They can create a general expression like happy or sad, but the subtle, unclear emotions, the flicker of doubt in someone's eyes, the slight twitch of a lip that signals a lie, those tiny human movements are still often lost in translation. So the control is getting better, but it's not yet perfect. This is why most of the AI videos you see are still in a trailer style or a music video format. They focus on big movements and cool poses, not on subtle, emotional acting. If you want to make a serious, long story that requires consistent, accurate emotion, you have to be prepared to generate so many clips. It's like playing a very expensive slot machine. This is the half-truth the hype videos don't tell you. But there's a silver lining. 
This technology allows us, as consumers, to create crazy pilot projects that a professional studio would never risk investing in. We can do it just for fun. And these experiments might be the very thing that inspires the real professionals to see a new idea and create a high-quality version of it. A common fear is that AI will replace jobs. But this misses a fundamental truth about human nature. We are never satisfied. Hundreds of years ago, not everyone had electricity, yet they could be happy. Today we go crazy if our internet is down for five minutes. And that is why AI will not simply replace us. It will become a new standard. We will simply use AI as a higher level language to communicate and control the machines, but a human will still be the one giving the direction. In fact, one of the most powerful and unhyped abilities of AI is that it allows us to taste a glimpse of each profession. It lets you try on a career like a new coat before you buy it. Think back to my own story. I jumped from computer science to law to business, searching for the right path. Each change cost me years of time and money. I was stuck. Now, with AI, you can explore your interests with incredible speed and low cost. Curious about game development? You can use an AI to help you build a simple prototype in a weekend. Interested in writing? An AI can be your partner in crafting a short story. You can get deep down into the actual work of a profession and see if you truly like it or not. This makes changing fields faster and cheaper than ever before. You don't have to get stuck in a career you don't really like for the rest of your life just because you invested so much time and money learning to do it. But the real problem is how we ensure that people who aren't able to adapt to this rapid change can still blend into our society. It's the same challenge we face today with our parents or elders. It will just take time until things become less chaotic. So if you have the opportunity, the time to learn is now. You will enjoy the advantage of being an early adopter. Yes, learning later might be easier, but you won't get the same advantage in terms of economy or finance. But if you don't have a problem with your finances, it's fine to learn at your own pace. Even then, it is still better to use AI to save your most valuable resource, your time. Welcome to our final stop, your first steps. This is your practical, actionable roadmap. So if you're ready to start, here is my complete list of what you should learn. First, the mindset. Start with a problem, not a technology. Invest in what AI can't copy, your brand, your unique voice, and balance learning with doing. Now, for the tools. I cannot stress this enough. You must learn the basics of the command line. It's the key to the kingdom. Most of the latest open source AI tools don't have a simple installer. To install them, you will need to open this window. You'll go to a project's GitHub page, copy a git clone command to download the files. Then you'll navigate into that new folder with CD and run pip install requirements.txt to install all the necessary components. This is the fundamental workflow, and just as important is understanding your hardware. Your GPU is your engine, but the driver is its operating system. You need to know how to install the right driver and figure out which CUDA version is compatible with the tool you're trying to use. It's the driver's license you need before you can start. Now let's break down the tools by your field of interest. For general AI exploration, a great place to start is Google AI Studio. It has a very generous free limit for its Gemini model and is fantastic for experimenting. It also has a build feature that can create usable web apps for you that don't require a backend. You can then download that code and expand on it in a code editor. Another powerful tool from Google is Notebook LM. This is your personal AI research assistant. Imagine you could upload all your research, your notes, or even a hundred PDFs, and then have a conversation with an expert who has read and understood everything. 
This is a game changer for learning and creating. For example, you can give it a link to a long YouTube video, and it can provide you with a customized summary, or you can ask specific questions about the video's content without having to watch the whole thing yourself. You can upload your study notes and ask it to create a study guide. You can even upload an entire book and have it generate an audiobook for you. It's an AI that's grounded in your sources, your world, which makes it an incredibly powerful tool. For automating your digital life, N8N is a powerful open source tool. And for running all these different open source tools without them conflicting, you'll need to learn Docker. If you want to create content, you'll need an editing suite. For image and video, ComfyUI offers the most control. For video editing, DaVinci Resolve has a powerful free version. For image editing, there's Photoshop, the free web-based photo P, and Krita, an amazing open source program with great AI integrations. For music, tools like Suno can compose a full soundtrack. If you want to build things, I recommend starting with the basics of Python, the language of AI, and JavaScript or TypeScript, the languages of the web. You need to understand the difference between front-end and back-end. AI is a master at helping you with front-end tools like React, Next.js, and Tailwind CSS. For handling payments, you'll need to learn about API like Stripe or PayPal. For all of this, you will live inside a code editor like Visual Studio Code and manage your code using Git and GitHub. For game development, the engine you choose determines your path. Unity is fantastic for indie and mobile games. The hit Genshin Impact was made with Unity. It primarily uses C Sharp. If you want stunning graphics, you'll want Unreal Engine, which uses C++ or its Visual Blueprint system, and powers games like Wuthering Waves. A great free and open source alternative is Godot. And finally, if you want to create your own virtual friend or assistant. A companion has three core components, the brain, the voice, and the body. The brain is a large language model. You can use API or run open source models locally. For this, I use a fantastic free tool called LM Studio. The voice is a text-to-speech model. You can use a paid API like Eleven Labs or run open source models locally. And the body is the visual avatar. For 2D characters, you can use tools like Live 2D. For 3D avatars, Unity is great for a general or anime style. For high realism with perfect lip sync, Unreal Engine's MetaHuman is the gold standard. A fully AI-driven animation for the whole face and body is amazing for movies but it requires a very powerful GPU, making it impractical for a real-time companion for now. This journey is ultimately a story about empowerment. Don't think about limitations. Think about what you want to create. Start small, stay curious, and build something that truly matters to you. If you want to see more real-life applications of AI, or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready to start your own dream project and want to be part of a community of creators, I invite you to join us. By making a subscription on my website, you'll get access to our private Discord. The lowest tier is only $1 a month and it directly supports this project and helps maintain our monthly server fees. Thank you for watching.